Hey everybody, wait till you see what I found on Twitter. Remember that video I made a few days ago about cows being blasted with flamethrowers? Well, I never thought that comedy would come out of that. And a lot of attention, too. Two women are arguing and debating over this video, the practice of flaming cows' asses. And one of them, she's challenging her to put her assumptions to the test. There's no safe seat at the feast. Take the best stab at the beast. The same is standing for sin. Making my bananas out of the way. Oh, by the way, it's February. Different kinds of fruit. Persimmons. Go looking for this stuff. And honeydew in February. 99 cent store. Okay, I gotta hold the camera in my hand for this video. Oh, might as well do an acne check. Yep, everything's still good. Okay, here's my Twitter page. I'm Gary Frutarian on Twitter. Almost a thousand tweets in just a few months. That's hard to believe. And look at this. For some reason, I've got over 5,000 followers. See it over here? Um, this morning, I got 38 notifications. That would be them. A lot of big conversation going on. This is going to be plenty entertaining. Five days ago, I posted about the dairy farm investigation and the petition going around. And I put up a link for the petition. And one of my followers, Omsky, said, Thanks, Gary. Get it out there. Then I mentioned that I have two videos that I'm making right now about that. And those videos are up on YouTube. And then I posted that video here. Maybe Vegan Revolution will give it some steam with a retweet. I don't think that's happened. Omsky was making more comments all over Twitter about this. And she got into a debate with Devil's Advocate. And she is, of course, so attractive. Let's see what she's about. Check this out. She has a lot of followers. Been here eight years. I farm. I teach pro-science, anti-heat, showing for big ag, big pharma, and she's not joking. So let's get into this debate. Here's what she said. She said that Omsky was portraying a safe industry practice that is for the health of the animal and safety of the food supply, portraying that as a barbaric practice. That's the flame throwing, and they wonder why no one takes them seriously. By them, I suppose we can assume that would be animal rights activists slash vegans. And the argument ensues. You're in need of a psychiatrist. Perhaps they can subscribe to you. The drugs you try to push on the public. Big ag shill. <laughs> the devil's advocate says, As a kid, did you wave your finger over a candle? It doesn't burn the skin unless you went for the blue flame. It's the same thing. Well, just because it looks scary to you, doesn't it? Is. Cow is not hurt. Most aren't even phased. So you're getting this right, people. This very attractive woman is defending hitting cows with the flame. I mention attractiveness because I see that a lot. Dairy man comes in. <laughs> What's going on in the video, Michelle? It's not something I've ever seen or heard of. Yeah, if you ever get over the fact she's defending this, you remember that this is not a normal practice. I think they made it up to cut corners. That's what I had read somewhere. Singeing utter hairs off. Why they do this? So after Michelle said that it's just like a candle and it doesn't hurt the cow, Omsky says, let's see you publicly display this on yourself. Let's chain you up, pull down your pants, and blow a torch on your ass. <laughs> Would you be willing to do this publicly to prove that this is ethical? 
Carburetor thoughts? <laughs> Michelle came back. As I've said, the torch nor the flame doesn't go up the ass. This I, I don't understand how she was getting the idea of that. Don't expect me to take your argument seriously. I'm expecting you to put up or shut up. Show us and let's demonstrate on you, since you're such an advocate of this practice. Why would I shove a flame up my ass when it's not even the practice? One more time, the flame is low heat and singes utter hairs in a second. How does it do that if it's low heat? Then I came in on my thoughts. Sounds like a fair request. If it doesn't burn, what is the torch used for? And someone responded, Michelle, removing utter hair. As has been discussed. So if it burns the hair off, I guess it reaches the skin and hurts. There is a way to find out for sure. Nope, hair singes quickly and a low heat flame is used. A few dairymen in the thread showed themselves singeing the hair off their arms. And someone had a good reply to that. Coming up soon. But first, Show us on your ass how it's done. After all, it's completely normal and ethical. Why don't you read what I've told you about how the practice works, instead of demanding I show you my ass? <laughs> Again, you talk a lot, but show nothing. You keep insisting I want to see your ass when you know exactly what I want. So if you are unwilling to do a demo on yourself, how can you expect anyone to accept your argument that the practice is harmless and ethical? I think she's got a good point there. You're making a lot of demands for someone who's completely misrepresented the video. And someone posting a video about showing hair singeing. And a new person joins in. Finger death punch. It's not on the ass, though. Give the people what they want to see. Okay, Jody comes in with an interesting response. I wonder how that flame would work on leg hair. I would think it would work better than wax. Probably less painful, too. Yeah, that's interesting. <clears throat> Why do people wax when this is painless? Because maybe it's not. Animal products also block arteries in the brain. <coughs> yeah. I'd consider laying off the animal products and seeing a specialist. Where's your proof? Real scientific proof. Also, I bet you my blood pressure is better than yours. Now see, why do people bet that? I just tried commenting to Jody about her hunger. I was going to say, don't go hungry, and you won't feel like killing a cow with your bare hands. So I tried to comment. You are blocked from following these two characters. They blocked me. Here they were talking about me, and that I m must be buying my followers. Then Michelle says, diet expert. I have that written in my, uh, in my bio, so she's criticizing me here. All his training was on the interwebs. Hmm. I think I feel a comment coming on there. I'll get back to her later. I just want to wrap up this video. So we left the question open there. I think we really need to do that experiment. I think that would get a lot of bring a lot of attention to this issue. But if it's the hair, then uh, she has to do more than just pull down her pants. You know, after all, the cows are not standing up straight. And I'm thinking. So since this experiment hasn't happened yet, uh, I want to give it a working title for what we'll call this p potential experiment. I came up with a good one. The Pocha Hot Ass Experiment. 